As you may have discerned, gelatin is little more than a concentrated and clarified stock. Anyone who's made a chicken stock at home will tell you that the one way to know you really got it right is to refrigerate it overnight and see this the next morning. It gelates. Why? Well, it starts like this. You see, gelatin contains specific amounts of 18 different amino acids joined together in sequences to form polypeptide chains, scientifically known as the primary structure. Now, three of these polypeptide chains formed this way joined together as a left-handed spiral to create the secondary structure. In the tertiary structure, the spiral winds and folds itself into a right-handed spiral, which results in a rod-shaped molecule, the so-called proto fibril. Do I know what this means? No. But what I do know is that gelatin strands are long and very thin, and they move around a lot. That is until they drop below about mm, 50 degrees. Then they slow down and start to tangle up. The result? A microscopic mesh capable of holding a flavorful liquid say a margarita, in a firm gel. What's really cool is that the electrostatic bonds responsible for holding this together are relatively weak. In fact, as long as the gelatin isn't very acidic and isn't exposed to heat in excess of 150 degrees, it can be melted and reset again and again and again and again 